What's up everybody, I'm Sydney Goodman. Chester's back today for a time of redemption. It's not gonna bite me. And in today's Daily Fix, what makes Xbox Series X exciting according to Scorn Devs, Cyberpunk 2077 shows off a cool car and some Resident Evil lore. Roll the thing. Scorn was one of the surprise hits of last week's Inside Xbox Showcase. I mean, it's hard to forget, even a week later, because I still see those images pretty much any time I close my eyes. Like this one. Or this. Enough of that, we've actually known about Scorn as a PC title for several years at this point. But it turns out that the lure of Series X for developer Ebb Software was the fact that a console version could now match the vision it's always had for its PC project. We, IGN, got to interview the game director, Lubomir Peklar, and he said, quote, it was about bringing it in line with the PC version. We don't wanna make any compromises and Series X certainly enables us to do just that. Peckler noted that the evolutionary improvements from the current gen consoles to the Series X are what makes the biggest difference. He specifically noted the elimination of the CPU bottleneck and much faster loading of assets thanks to the SSD. As far as Scorn goes, the last time we saw direct gameplay was in 2017 and Peckler assures us that the game's changed quite a bit since then. It's being built in Unreal Engine 4, and the team seems to be pushing those tools as far as they'll go. With all that said, we're not totally clear on whether or not Series X is the only console platform that Scorn will drop on. When we asked Peklar if it's a Series X exclusive or if it'll drop on PS5 sometime after launch, he said he can't discuss that information. Mysterious. We do know that Scorn will be released for Xbox Series X during the console's launch period and that Windows Store and Steam versions are also planned, but they have no release date specified just yet. While Scorn is definitely interesting, what strikes me most about this conversation is that Series X has capabilities that allow for visions of a PC game to come to console. We don't know yet how close Series X games will come to the previously graphically superior PC games, but the devs over at Ebb Software seem confident that it's definitely a big leap past current gen standards. How do you think next gen will compare to PC? Are you into Scorn? Let me know in the comments. That's where you let me know. We've still got about a month before Cyberpunk's Night City Wire event on June 11th, but that didn't stop developer CD Projekt Red from showing off a car from the game. In celebration of the fifth anniversary of Mad Max Fury Road, CD Projekt revealed the Reaver on their Twitter account. They included a short clip that shows the black vehicle with turquoise decals and a red trim. The Reaver is a custom-built car by The Race, one of the gangs of Night City. It's based on a Quadra Type 66 car and boasts, quote, near 1,000 horsepower. Nay, am I right? Oh no. Quote, you will ride eternal, shiny and chrome, the tweet says, echoing the war boys of Mad Max Fury Road. But the car more so echoes Max's V8 Interceptor, also known as the Pursuit Special. Cyberpunk 2077 comes out on September 17th of this year, and I cannot wait. Haven't got enough of Nemesis? I mean, how could you? He seems so warm and fuzzy. Well, then your wish has been granted. Resident Evil 3's remake's take on Nemesis is now available in Resident Evil Resistance. And Capcom has even given us details on how it connects to Resident Evil 4. The announcement comes from Capcom social media specialist, Kellen Haney, on a PlayStation blog post that explains that the Nemesis's, Nemesis's, Nemesis's ability to infect zombies with parasites in Resistance was added to the game to tie into the Ganado enemies of RE4. Folks who've played RE3 know that Nemesis was able to infect zombies nearby using its parasitic arm. And that arm will return turn to resistance to infect zombies, by the way. If it's been a while since you've played RE4, Ganados are humanoid enemies that are created by being infected with the Plagueis parasite, the original basis for any alpha. Haney said any alpha was created to imitate this parasitic quality and Capcom wanted any alpha infected enemies to be visually similar to the Plagueis infected Ganados. And all of this was done so that, quote, fans could piece together how Nemesis fits into the whole Resident Evil franchise. Are you playing Resident Evil Resistance? If you're not, I've actually played a good bit of it and it's a really good time. So maybe a good thing to play with friends this weekend or three people you don't particularly enjoy. Or maybe it's four, I can't remember. It's fine, it's four people. And that's your daily fix. I'm Sydney Goodman and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our newest episode of Next Gen Console Watch where we analyze PS5's tech demo on the Unreal Engine 5. Download the IGN app on all your mobular devices, subscribe to Daily Fix on Snapchat and for all things everything else, IGN.com.